this is the structure of abstract factory pattern we will see how this is implemented in java source here is the abstract class abstract factory it has abstract methods create product 1 and create product 2 so will be implemented in its derived classes here is the class concrete factory 1 derived from class abstract factory it implements the method create product 1 inside this it creates the object of class product 1 underscore 1 and returns it here it implements the method create product 2 inside this it creates the object of class product 2 underscore 1 and returns it so we can see concrete factory 1 is creating series 1 product underscore 1 underscore 1 Here is the class concrete factory 2 derived from class abstract factory. It implements the method create product 1. Inside this, it creates the object of class product 1 underscore 2 and returns it. Here it implements the method create product 2. Inside this, it creates the object of class product 2 underscore 2 and returns it so we can see concrete factory 2 is creating series 2 product underscore 2 underscore 2 here is the abstract class abstract product 1 it has abstract method display here is the class product 1 underscore 1 derived from class abstract product 1 it implements the method display here it just display this statement here is the class product 1 underscore 2 derived from class abstract product 1. It implements the method display. Here is the abstract class abstract product 2. It has abstract method display. So will be implemented in its derived classes. Here is the class product 2 underscore 1 derived from class abstract product 2. It implements the method display, which displays this statement. Here is the class product 2 underscore 2, derived from class abstract product 2. Here it implements the method display. Let's see the main. Here we are creating concrete factory 1 object and assigning it to variable factory 1 of type abstract factory class. And here we are creating object of concrete factory 2 and assigning it to variable factory 2 of type abstract factory. Here is the variable prod1 of type abstract product 1 class. Here is the variable prod2 of type abstract product 2 class. Through these statements we are creating the series 1 product. So, here we are calling create product 1 method of factory 1 object. So, it will go to create product 1 of concrete factory 1. So, it will come here and here it will create product one underscore one object and it will return it. So when we call the display method, it will go to the display method of product one underscore one. So it will come here and it it will display this statement. Here we are calling the create product 2 of factory 1. So it will go to the concrete factory 1 concrete create product 2 method. So it will come here and it will return the object of product 2 underscore 1. So when we call the display method, 
it will go to the product 2 underscore 1 display. So it will come here and it will display this statement. Here through these statements we are creating series 2 product. When we call the create product 1 of factory 2, it goes to the concrete factory 2 create product 1 method. So it comes here, it returns the object of product 1 underscore 2. So when we call the display method, it comes to the product 1 underscore 2 display and it displays this. And here we are calling create product 2 method of factory 2 object. So it goes to concrete factory 2 create product 2. Concrete factory 2 create product 2. So it comes here, creates the object of product 2 underscore 2. So when we call the display method, it comes to product 2 underscore 2 display, it displays this. Okay, we will run this program again and we will see the output. So through this product 1 underscore 1 object is created and when this is called it goes to product 1 underscore 1 display. It comes here and it displays this. And through this product 2 underscore 1 object is created and when we call the display then it goes to product 2 underscore 1 display it comes here and it displays this. this one. And when we call this create product 1 of factory 2 then it creates the product 1 underscore 2 so actually it goes concrete factory to create product one. It creates product one underscore two. And when we call this, it goes to the product one underscore two display. Here and it display this, which is this. And through this, we are creating product two underscore two object. And when we call this, then it goes to product two underscore two display. Comes here, it display this, which is this. So we can see through factory 1 we are creating the series 1 products and through factory 2 we are creating series 2 products.